How's everybody doing? You know, it's been a while since I've had a chance to do a tasting video for, uh, for some of my figs. Only because, you know, we've, we've been going through winter, we've been going through spring. I've had a terrible, terrible um, Bariba season for some reason. I mean, most of my Bariba's dropped, so I don't get it. Um, I do have one Bariba that I want to share with you guys today. This is coming off of my Green Goliath fig. Here it is right here. It's not as big as I thought it was going to be. Um, or I was hoping it was going to be because I've seen the photos of the pear tree that it came off of. Look at the leaves. Interesting, very big leaves. And I've got one Breba here that is ripe. You can see that it's dangling here, right? I mean, it, it could probably go another day, but not much more than that. But um, I have the day off today, so I do have some time to pick the fruit, do a video for you guys, and hopefully get it online here soon enough. Um, it is a pretty prolific tree. There's a Breba. And these guys here are all main crop. And I've got it growing in the, uh, the self-watering pot. Um, ignore this little black Madeira here. It's a terrible grower. I've had this guy, I think, a couple years, and that's all it's done. Anyways, um, let's pick this fruit. And see what this green Goliath tastes like. There you go. It's certainly big. But it's not gigantic. Uh, from my guess, I'm, I'm guessing it's about, I don't know, 80 grams? Let's go see. So the reason why this guy is ripe, it's because he's been in the greenhouse pretty much all this time. It's gotten the additional heat. Uh, that's giving it the opportunity to get ripe. And also the protection from, I don't know, maybe I've, I've been, I've had critters or whatnot. And so, maybe that's why I'm losing most of my breather. Okay. Oh, man, I'm, I'm good. <laughs> 81.2 grams. All right, so let's cut into this guy and see what he looks like. Got a nice view of my garden back there. Oh, okay. Very interesting. Man, it is a, certainly a big fruit. You can see that it's not quite pink. All right, so let's give this guy a taste. I've hired a gardener back over here to kind of handle the duties, you know, while I'm, I'm working hard eating. So he gets paid well in toys and Pokemon. Let's give this guy a bite. So that's a nice tight eye. So this thing's not going to split. Uh, if you live in a kind of a rainy area like I do. Nice. Hmm. I'll tell you what. It, it is so good to be able to get to eat fresh figs again when the summertime comes around. I miss this. As far as this particular fig, now it's not sweet, not overly sweet. There is a bit of a, a figgy taste. And uh, 
very mild. It's a very mild flavored fig. Maybe it's because of the Briba. Maybe I could have let this thing hang on the tree a little bit longer. The main reason why I bought this thing was because it was supposed to get huge and I love giant figs. And I'm just attracted to it. I mean, look at me. This is taking two bites. And I'm not done with this half of a fig yet. So to me, that's, that's almost a full meal. Yeah, anyways, let's finish this thing and then share the other half with the rest of the folks. All right, thanks for watching, you guys. I hope to have more of these coming on the way. Take care, bye-bye.